Hi, I'm Alan Ross and welcome to my first two minute tutorial. One of the things I get asked a lot about is how do I convert my digital captures to black and white? Well, there are lots of different tools and techniques out there and I don't think there's any one right or per perfect method. So I'm just gonna show you what I do. I'll say up front that I don't use any of the programs apps out there uh, that do this because I'm so used to being in control of my own images in a dark room that I like to, I don't like to have some software telling me what I ought to be doing. So I like to take care of things myself. So here we go. I'm gonna share my screen right now and uh, we'll take a look at one of my photographs. All right, so I usually open up my, uh, my images to begin with in Lightroom. And here we have a photograph that I did in a little my old mining town in, uh, near Santa Fe, New Mexico of an old uh, gas pump. I picked this photograph because it's got a variety of colors in it, some reds, yellows, some blues, cyans. It doesn't have much in the way of you know, greens or anything, but at least it gives you an idea. Now, one of the things I like to do is I like to do my initial adjustments to an image in Lightroom, but then when I convert to black and white, I don't use Lightroom because Lightroom has these funny colors like orange and aqua and purple, which don't really relate to science colors. So I like to use Photoshop for this. And so I'm going to open this image in Photoshop here. And if I were use Photoshop, I can monitor the way I choose to change colors. And I like to use adjustment layers to do this little black and white circle down here. I'll choose black and white and all of a sudden it converts it to black and white. But you'll see over here that I have, on the right side of the screen, I have reds, yellows, greens. These are all science colors. Red, green, and blue are additive primary colors, and that's what makes your monitor work. Yellow, magenta, cyan, those are subtractive primaries. That's what makes your color printers work. So anyway, I, have, I can toggle this layer off, and I can go back and forth between the color and the black and white. So now let's see, I've got a lot of blues in here, so I can experiment by taking my blue slider and lightening the blues, or I can darken the blues quite a bit. Let's say I want to darken the blues a little bit, but I can lighten those adjacent colors in cyans by bringing those up a little bit. Now if I, I look down here, I maybe want to get some more texture in here. I have reds and yellows, so let me darken the reds a bit. Ooh, look at that, bringing that down. I can brighten the yellows up and have that. So this is the basic adjustments in black and white. One of the neat things about Photoshop is I can come back here and do another layer, black and white, and I can toggle back and forth. Let's say now I wanna bring the reds up. I can bring the reds up like this. I can bring my blues down like that. I can bring the yellows way down in here. And this doesn't look so interesting, but at least it's different. It shows me a different way of dealing with the colors. If I want to come back and look at what I did beforehand, I, all I have to do is click this. So that's an introduction to changing from a color image to black and white. Hope you like this.